Oh man, this is beautiful, isn't it? This is mint chocolate chip ice cream. I'll tell you what, this is not too difficult to make and it is exceptionally tasty. You should give this a try. Hello! Welcome back to Texas Cooking Today. On this episode of Texas Cooking Today, we're going to be making ice cream. It's nothing better than a hot summer's day and it's triple digits here in Texas today, so I figured why not a little ice cream? And we're going to make a mint chocolate chip ice cream today. So, come a little closer. Oh, hold on, before we go over all that, there is something I do want to mention right now. That is, there are two basic different ways of making ice cream. One where you use an egg custard, and you're not using the whole egg, just the yolks. Anywhere from two to six eggs is common. I generally don't like using that. That's the French method. I like to use the American method, which was developed in Philadelphia. And the American method uses just cream, no eggs, okay? So, why would we need eggs in a ice cream, right? Okay, come a little closer. Let me show you what all we have to make this wonderful ice cream. Now, in addition to the ice cream churn that you're going to need, and there are many different kinds made, you're also going to need these ingredients. Now, this is for a two to two and a half quart batch, and really it comes out closer to two and a half, three quarts once it's frozen and it expands. So, just beware that uh, if you've got the smaller size ice cream uh, churn, then you might want to half this recipe. So, what I have here are two cups of milk, and this is whole milk, two cups of half and half, and four cups of whole cream, or in other words, heavy cream or whipping cream. Now on our flavorants, I have right here, this is two teaspoons of mint extract, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and this just brings out some of the, creaming, uh, the, the, the cream flavors better. It will be in the background, you won't really notice it, the mint really takes over. One teaspoon of salt, one and a quarter cups of granulated sugar, two cups of chocolate morsels. And you're gonna to wanna to put these in the freezer and make them really, really cold, okay? So, when I get started on this, these go in the, the freezer, and these are going to go in the refrigerator to keep them cold until I can get the milk scalded. Also, if you would like, you can use a little green food coloring. I'm going to use some in this because I think it brings out a lovely flavor with the, the brown for the chocolate chips and they just look pretty together that way. Normally, I don't like to use food colorings, but in this case, I think it is really an enhancement. Now, also you're gonna want a thermometer, or I'll show you another way when scalding your milk to know when you get the temperature right, okay? And that is uh, just by the appearance of the surface. So let's move right on to scalding our milk and making some ice cream. Now, I have on my stove a large pan that will hold all of the ingredients that I have. I'm going to start with the two cups of milk, place that in, and I'm going to put underneath that a medium heat. There we go. I got about a medium high right now. Now I'm going to go ahead and place my thermometer in place. Now, in the event that you don't have a thermometer, I'm going to teach you a method of recognizing when your milk has scalded. And basically, you're going to see a, a foamy series of bubbles around the edge. See how these bubbles on the edge are large? It'll be smaller bubbles than that. It'll be more like a foam, and it'll build up on the edge, as well as there will be uh, steam that'll start coming off of the milk. And that's when you know you've scalded it. Now, in this case, we're scalding the milk not because we need to pasteurize it the way they would have done long, long ago. But in this case, what I want to do is to scald this milk for the purpose of A, changing its flavor, which scalding milk does change the milk's flavor somewhat. Also, it's going to heat this up so that when I want to put my sugar in it, the sugar will dissolve much easier. And at that point, once the sugar becomes fully dissolved, that's when I will bring the temperature of this down to 120 degrees, and I will incorporate the rest of my ingredients. Now, when it comes to working a mint chocolate chip, if you want to cool this down even further than 120, that would be wise, because the cooler 
the final mixture comes out, the better for you and for those chips, because you don't want the chips to melt at all when we begin churning. So if I were to put my chips in this, it would just turn this into a basically a chocolate mint ice cream instead of a mint chocolate chip ice cream. Okay, now make sure that you keep a close eye when you are scalding milk because if you allow it to uh, heat up too quick or, or leave it unattended, it'll skin over and it will not be pleasant at all to look at or and you'll probably want to run it through a sieve at that point to get out any uh, bits of that skin that you don't want in your ice cream. If you notice the foam, the frothing on the edge, okay, that tells you right there that this has hit the temperature you're looking for. Also, my thermostat registers that we're hitting right about 180 degrees. So, you can see that. Very plain, very clear to understand. Now we have scalded milk. I'm going to go ahead and pour in my sugar and remove my uh, thermometer. And it's going to take a little bit of time for all that sugar to get dissolved. And that's okay because this has to come back down in temperature. And after it does, we will then put in the remainder of our ingredients. Okay, I have given this just a little bit of extra time and it has come down to just a little bit below 90 degrees. In fact, we're down to about 85 degrees on this. So, that gives me the opportunity to go ahead and incorporate the chips early. Now, here's the real trick. We have to make sure that this is really cold so that those chips do not melt at all. I want to use a whisk for this. The thing I want to do is whisk in that half and half. And then the cream. And this is going to bring down the temperature of this pot really well. Now, simple enough our salt. There we go. The vanilla extract. The peppermint extract or mint extract, whichever you prefer. Let's put in some green. Not that it's needed, but a lot of people see mint chocolate chip as something that should be green because the mint is green. I'm going to start by transferring this right over to my ice cream pot. There we go. Beautiful. Again, I want to use that spatula. That was at least a spoonful of ice cream for somebody right there. Now, I'll insert the dasher. I have my ice cream pot right here inside of a larger pot to catch the bright water that washes down from it. Let's take that motor off of it. Right now it's time to pull out the chocolate chips from the freezer. Pull it. Down in they go. Now for the fun part, which is aligning the motor. So, I'm going to get myself in. Turned on, pardon my reach. And I'm start feeding in the ice and salt. You'll need both to get it really cold, not just the ice. What 
I do is I start by placing ice between the red bucket and the uh, pot that is turning. I build a nice layer at the bottom, about four inches deep. As this is running, that you keep adding extra uh, ice and salt as needed to keep it on top, and it will get good and cold. On the side of most ice cream makers of this type, there's a weep hole. Make sure that it's able to uh, seep water out, the brine out, so that it won't fill up and flow into your uh, churn, okay? Let's see if we can get a close-up of the churning. As you can see there, got a nice motion going on. Looks like ice cream. Well, the churning is finished. The motor came to a stop. Pull that lid off. Beautiful, isn't it? Now, I need to get the dasher out, which is going to be easier said than done. There it goes. Now, set that aside, get the dasher out of the way, and I'm going to leave it sitting right here in this brine. Tastes delicious. Lid back on. Go. And just to wait the lid, this uh, pot down so it will stay down in the brine. I'm just going to put the motor on top of it so the weight of it will hold it in place. I'll give it about another hour in that position and then I can transfer it to another pot. And that's all there is to it. He's got ice cream. Well, that wasn't very difficult, was it? Simple mint chocolate chip ice cream. Always delicious at any time of the year, but especially great in summer because it is so nice and chilly. Mm. Mm. To you, that's good. Mm. That's what I like. Lots of chocolate chips, so you get some chocolate in every bite. And it's so tasty. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing to Texas Cooking Today, for those of you who have subscribed. And if you haven't, please do. And you have a good day. Thank you for watching Texas Cooking Today, the show where you can get great recipes and the best techniques are taught. Please subscribe to Texas Cooking Today, where you will always find something hot and ready to eat.